up guys, Derek Cordova here with Reliance Real Estate Services bringing you today's Monday market update. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter with your families this past weekend. We had a pretty eventful weekend ourselves as we just closed on our own new home. So definitely really excited about that. I've had a lot of clients asking me about new construction. Is it better to buy new versus resale? And I always do recommend that you go in with an agent, someone that's going to be looking out for your best interests, because a lot of the times these sales agents that work for the builder are going to be looking out for the best interests of the builder and not necessarily the buyer. So make sure you've got someone there with you that's got your back that knows the business and that's going to get you you know all those extra incentives and get you qualified for the best financing that's available and not be steered one direction or the other so there's always going to be some extra things to consider when buying new us for example we have a whole front and backyard to to get landscaped that's not included in the price of the home so if you guys do know anyone that's in those industries you know concrete landscaping pools anything like that we would love to hear from you and see who you know that can help us out something else to consider is when you're you're looking at those starting prices of the home make sure you consider what the total price is going to be after you add in all of your options a uh, home that starts off at 400,000 might end up closing somewhere closer to 420, 430,000. A lot of the time when you buy a resale, you don't necessarily have to consider those extra options necessarily because you're getting a turnkey finished move in ready home. So moving on to what's going on in our market, uh, we've had a lot of activity over this past week. Temecula, for example, the average sales price has jumped up to 475,000 and still selling pretty, pretty much at full price. Most homes are selling at 99.5% of the list price and the average days on market is down to 33 days. So if you are considering buying right now, make sure that you're working with an agent that's writing competitive offers for you. Um, you know, we're seeing a lot of offers come in at 14 days, 21 days, 25 day escrow periods. Um, so make sure you're being competitive, make sure you're being realistic when it comes to submitting your offers. In Marietta, the median sales price has moved up to 435,000, so it's still on an upward trajectory. Homes there are selling at 99.3% of the list price, and the average days on market there is up down to 36 days. In Wildemar, the median sales price has jumped up to 390,000, and homes are still selling at 99.8% of the list price. Days on market is up to 54 days, so that's one of the slower markets in the area. But you know, make sure that your, your agent is contacting that listing agent um, so that you guys can come up with a, a realistic offer. Lake Elsinore homes are selling at 347,000. Again, 99.7% of the list price and 35 days on market. So still very quick. And last but not least, Corona, homes are selling for $492,000 there. 99.7% um, of the list price. So that means homes are not gonna be selling below asking price. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you for tuning in. And please do call us with any questions that you might have.